try to build a small kind of a power wall for um, my RV using laptop cells. I had all these 18650 um, laptop batteries and I charged them up and a lot of them are good, a lot of them are bad. I'm trying to weed out the ones that are bad from the ones that are good. And uh, so I'm going to lay out like a power wall and I got these holders off Amazon and the plan is I'm going to solder solder them together so that uh, these are in series that go in this way and then run them parallel like that with some copper wire on the sides and I'm not going to fuse it right away but later on I'll probably go back and you know add some fuses in where they need to be I've got some more of these on order I only had 10 Saw this guy's uh, YouTube channel, Average Joe. Anyway, he has all this good stuff on his channel. If you want to see in detail, you know what it's all about. And he's funny. He's a really funny guy. Except for that spot right there. That's all right. All right. Here we go. We got a negative and a positive side. And so, basically, I'm going to use these to go up and down either side here. these that's for sure let's see I've got two displays here this one does more and you, you can actually control more with this this one right here is basically just for display it says I'm getting 17 volts on my panel 17 volts. Okay, 1.7 amps on the panel. That's that's how much, how many amps of charge I'm getting. And you see the same thing down here. That says 2.3. Yep, that's about right. Hopefully you guys can see this. I guess I can go ahead and take the plastic off here. So afraid it's gonna get damaged before I get it in there. There we go. So um, that's my uh, mock-up for the basic 64 amp hour um, lithium ion battery setup. I plan to double that, get enough cells. I've, I've got the little, I've got almost enough cells. I'll probably have to buy a few more, break open some batteries. In fact, I'll show you, I've got one more battery left uh, from a laptop that I can take apart and I can show you um, how I harvest the cells. There's the voltage. It's got a cutoff voltage, I think about 16.9 or no, 17 volts, which actually it stops charging at 
Just pretty cool, shows you how full your battery is. I need to equalize these cells too. Um, I gotta figure out a way. I can use a hobby charger to do it, at least to get them started. Um, it's, it's such a small cell bank, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, this is the basics. And uh, it's enough to um, enough to get me started. Like I said, I'm just going to double the banks, and you know, one or two of those panels might be enough. I'll have to see how much uh, how much it uses, as really how much it uses overnight, because I'm sure that that panel, probably two of those panels, uh, would probably do it. I think I'm only going to get uh, like two or three amps of charge on that. To be careful with this uh, positive side I've got over here, I need to uh, shield that. Once I get everything nailed down, right, right now I'm just, you know, doing some testing. Got to be really careful so I don't ground it out and short something. Oh, I'm getting three amps of solar right now. And this is where I get my uh, batteries from. It's a bad battery pack. Um, it lo can no longer be charged in a uh, regular laptop charger. So I just disassemble this pack, which is kind of a... It's not too difficult. You have to. Nice if you have a vice. One thing I've learned on YouTube is that you can actually take the cells and sit them in the. Um, the little holders I have and you can have the two cells attached together and it works the same so I, I may take that route going forward and not have to uh, you know take them apart separate the cells I didn't know that before I did all that or otherwise I would probably would have left them like that hey, I'm I got this charger off of Amazon and um, it's not the greatest because it only tests on the last uh, cell down here. And um, I want one that tests on all of them. So I'm not real happy about that. I may return this one and see if I can find one that will test all cells. There it is, guys. Uh, I let it sit out in the sun for about an hour or two. And I hope you can see that. But my batteries are topped off. Uh, solar panel is doing 18 volts and there's no amperage going to the battery so everything is charged up and and good to go so none of them are too hot i think if anything the heat is just from sitting in the sun so uh what i'm going to do is uh double my battery capacity and um, i'm just going to keep adding solar panels as they're needed. I'm not going to overdo the solar panels. Uh, I've got plenty of solar panels, but um, the biggest thing is the battery. I want these things to last overnight and maybe into a day or two to run my refrigerator and you know, charge laptops, stuff like that, whatever I need. Yeah, I think on this little small scale, this is going to work out pretty well. Okay, for my final test, my 12 volt refrigerator, have it wired up. Hopefully I have the right gauge wire here. It's pretty thin, but it's not getting hot or anything. So I forgot to fuse it also. Um, right now it is pulling seven amps. Like the voltage is down to 14.9 and 7 amps. And I, I just plugged it into the load side of the solar controller. So the battery voltage is going through here, through the tracer uh, MP, MPPT solar uh, charge controller. And I put it on the load side. It's running the refrigerator off that. Um, later on, the load side We'll go to my power panel and it'll just distribute um, electricity to the power panel. So I'm going to let this run for about an hour and uh, you know, see how, how it works. 
Oh, this thing's got a timer on it, too. It may help me uh, figure out. Actually, that's not working. Because I would have to run the load through here, which I am not doing. I'm going to probably just do away with this right here. I don't think that's necessary. And just rely on this uh, MPPT solar controller to do everything because it's got all the all of these statistics here. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. We'll see how it comes out on the video. Of course, the fridge is going to probably run a little harder for the first hour anyway because uh, getting it up to speed and going from a, a hot state to a cool state, you know, it's going to take more energy to do that. So, Ooh, it's already getting cool in there. I've only had it going for, you know, like less than 10 minutes. All right, I'll be back uh, in about an hour and we'll see how it does. All right, we're still running. About two hours in and the voltage is dropping quite a bit. It's cycling through. I would say I have about half the battery capacity right now. So, let's see what, uh, I think I'm okay actually, I think I've got a while. It, it's been running about two hours. Let's see what kind of temperature we have in here. 35 degrees, that's good. That's about the operating temperature. And about, it's pretty low right here. Freezer. Yep. So, I really think with this many batteries, I'm trying to feel if there's any that are hot. This many batteries, I'm probably going to get three or four hours for that. This many batteries I have right now. We'll have to see. I'm going to leave it running. I'll come back out here in a couple more hours. Um, so if I double the size, I'll probably get like maybe luckily eight hours. So I think this is only going to give me eight hours just on the fridge, which is a lot less than I expected. But that's what I'm what I'm thinking anyway. We'll see. Battery's low, thirteen point nine. It's not too happy. It's not, it's not dead yet. I mean, it still runs. I don't know if that fridge will run on thirteen. Point, I guess it will. Yeah, it should. 12 volt fridge. But it ran for 7, 730, 720. So it's um, four hours. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Um, so far, I got seven hours bringing my battery voltage down to 14 volts. Well, I don't think they had a full charge. I got four hours out of them anyway. It's not bad. At least I think it was four hours. Fridge warmed up a little bit. So Anyway, it's time to do another test. I want to equalize these batteries and retest. These are old laptop batteries. So they're not even you know, going to take a full charge. So um, Once I get them equalized, I get them measured and take the bad cells out, and then I can tell probably a lot better. But um, that's proof of concept. And... Um, it's going to take way more batteries than I have here to drive everything. And them are hot. There's like one or two cells are a little bit warm, like right in here. Everything else is pretty cool. All right. Uh, making progress. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it. Don't buy it.